All right, thanks for staying with us now on the 3rd of February. Um, is the day that honors the path that female doctors have paid since 1849 as we recognize National Women Physician Day. I mean, I think um, this is one profession that every time you think doctor, you think a man. So if there's a day like this that respects women yeah. in the field, is a day that is worth celebrating. Yes, actually. Um, I've had fantastic doctors. I remember my very first child when I had him 16 years ago. <laughs> now oh, I'm feeling mama. like a G. Oh, grandma, grandma, grandma Lodi. <laughs> grandma Lodi. You know, when I had him, I, I remember when, um, so I'd had a tear and a cut and all of that. And you mean, he was the doctor. She was a female doctor that examined me and then said, no, that, you know, we can't leave her like this. We have to do a suture and all of that. So she called in the gynae. But again, because she's a woman, she paid that extra attention. I've, so it was later, guess what? And I found out that some women were left like that. And when they now wanted to carry the second pregnancy, had they had issues with the... So they would not have to do the... What's that procedure called? Uti, help me. That they sutured the, the woman <laughs> oh to gosh. be on bed rest. Okay. Because guess what? The pelvic... The whatever area, cervix is now weakened. Mm. Because they did not... You know, so that woman saved me. Right. You know, because she's a woman, she paid extra she attention. Yeah. I mean, know, I, I didn't I, know I, the importance of that thing on a, until I started experiencing women that have had their first yeah. babies with no stress, started having weak cervix and all of that. For women, you know, women pay more attention. And, you know, because I, I feel, I, no, let me not even say I feel like women are actually gods. So there's just this extra sixth sense that a woman feels when, you know, when she's a doctor because women have the power to multitask. Yeah. So we can do too many things at the same time. So what a man would miss, women hardly miss. So yes, let's celebrate them today. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, so Uti, what did you find for us in the news? Uh, okay, so my headline says uh, the President Buhari asks for seven days for a major decision on currency redesign. So um, this statement has put out. Uh, the, gov the President apparently met with the former governor um, who paid him a visit to discuss the hardships in their relevant um, respective states around the cash shortages um, and the new cash design policies. Um, and the president has essentially assured them that their, their hearts are in the right places, that the policy was designed to boost the economy, and that he's promising that in the next seven days, which is the last seven days of the 10-day extension, that a decision will be made. He um, alluded to the fact that, or he mentioned that the, the, the banks are being greedy and inefficient. Mm -hmm. And that um, <laughs> even if a year was added on to the deadline, that uh, he does not believe that that would make a difference. But he says that in, in approving this policy, he was promised that um, no note would be printed in a foreign, com foreign country. So he, along with that, he will um, speak to the CBN and the Minton company to ensure that the shortages in cash. Are addressed. So, um, if it is to be believed, then uh, we have seven days in which everything should be sorted, and that will improve. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. On that note, we, Uti, we, you we have, have a lot to say, but we'll keep it for the conversation. <laughs> um, Malero, let me hear your what's in the okay, news. Okay, so from my, from my what's in the news, a man shows the 5K worth of coins he was allegedly given at a bank in Mushi. When I saw this... <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me for laughing. Mm. But when I saw this, in my head, I was like, what was, first of all, what was the bank thinking? I haven't seen coins in modern... It's more than 15 years. We don't even spend coins in this country. Things are too expensive to even... What are you going to buy with that 5K coin? Nobody's going to take that money from that guy. As far as I'm concerned, that's for maybe like for his coin collection. <laughs> because I'm sorry I'm laughing. It's annoying. Like I'm going to the bank to... Who is he going to give that money to? I'm sure he probably needs that money to buy stuff, buy food, buy petrol. Who is going to collect that coin? It's actually mm. very hilarious that a bank is giving out coins in 5k not even 100 naira change or 200 naira change in coins they're giving you five thousand naira worth of worth coins, of coins. Yeah. I, I feel like this is 
this is I'm thinking of the right word to use because I don't want to insult that cashier who gave that guy that money. <laughs> cashier's fault. I mean, why? Why are they, they giving? Well, so, so, so we don't have notes now. It's the coins. But I thought, I thought. What's the difference? Coin? What's the difference between this coin and the people that was that were counting dirty twenty twenty naira that I saw? Well, why are they? I mean, even for the five five naira that the government uses, it's not five five naira to do a guada, a be suit and trouser. What you wanted to say something? No, I just want to say that look the reality of it is that you who once you want to say why would the cashier do that you must understand the desperation it takes to bring out coins that you haven't seen in 15 years people are not crazy if the notes are available will they not pay it or is the cashier himself that has looked for money to come to work that day right is he also not in nigeria mm. let's be clear as we're right. saying these things well it's crazy out there and if, at, at, at some point customer People are saying that they're not going to collect 100 naira, they're not going to collect 50 naira. When push came to show, people collected 5 naira. Right. So when people start breaking out coins, it should tell us how dire the situation is. Because as much as we are all saying, these banking halls, these, these staff at the banks that are being um, harassed right. today, they still have to get to work. And trust me, it's cash they spend. So everybody's in it. Hmm. Okay, oh, glory. Over to my you. what's in the news. Barely 22 days to the general elections, youths in their numbers stormed the streets of Ibadan, the Oyo state capital, on Friday to protest the current state of the nation. Nigerians have been contending with fuel, with new Naira scarcity and erratic power supply for weeks across the nation. So I will just come back to what you said about you buying fuel at 3.15. No, I had a colleague that bought at 3.35. And in fact, the Philly station attendant was saying that it's going to be like that. It's going to be increasing on a daily basis. So I also think that we Nigerians, sometimes like we are not pitying ourselves at all. Even the fact that things are bad, yes, but we are also aggravating the whole situation. Mm -hmm. I think we should take pity on ourselves, like have that empathy for another person because in this situation now, they are the ones actually increasing it because they are seeing the demand and the scarcity and how people are really struggling to get it. So they are continually increasing. Talking about electricity too, personally, um, I think as a December, I noticed that the electricity units we used for one month, suddenly in a week it got finished. I had to like call my whole team, what's going on? For the first time, like I really took note because we we're paying and paying, what's going on? And they said they've dropped the unit and increased the tariff. So, f so just, it gives a picture of fuel, we're having fuel scarcity, there is a Naira note, there is the electricity, everything the is going there. It's all intertwined and it depends yeah. on each other. What is going on? Mm. How is I'm almost screaming in my head, like, how can this be resolved? I have people that were saying they were really good patriotic. Will I say patriotic in the sense that, oh, when people are saying we are going, we are leaving Nigeria, they're saying we'll be here, we'll solve it. Suddenly, they are the ones saying, ah, this situation is like, we too are going to leave. Oh. So it's really getting, it's I have so a lot tough. of people that have it's their, so tough, their that passports sense. ready <laughs> and they are leaving. But, I mean, just to take a cue from what you said, my story is actually just a video because I saw this very troubling and disturbing. For me, it's really scary. And, I mean, that's part of all the conversations we're going to have, you know. Um, there was a, um, a, a fuel station. I don't even know where that fuel station was located, you know, somewhere in, um, uh, was maybe Badon again, or I don't know, but it was really bad. People throwing things at each other. Um, stoning each other and this thing is just so we're talking about the impact of one thing how it's spiraling you know if they can if they can just quickly play that video then we take a break then we'll come back again for that <laughs> So as you can see, uh, now, this is now us attacking each other. each other. What I'm afraid of now, I'm actually afraid of yeah. driving on the road. Yes, because no. now, any little thing can just agitate people. Yes. Yesterday, for the first time, when beggars or small boys came to my window, I was genuinely looking for money to give them. You understand? Because my anything, my, you know, before, even if I don't give them, I'm so sure somebody mm -hmm. else will give them. Now, where is the mm -hmm. cash? Mm -hmm. 
So if there's any little agitation, we are all going to be in trouble. trouble. Mm -hmm. On that note, we'll take a break because I want to continue the conversation we started yesterday. How the scarcity of this Naira is affecting every other thing. It's affecting Nigerians. Stay with us. We'll be right back.